This video is about CMOS and the CMOS benefits you can expect for your digestive health and for your gut. And I hope this video helps you to decide if CMOS is something that you want to invest in, if it's worth to try it out. I'd like to know from you in the comments below right now before this video starts, gut feeler, if you've ever heard about CMOS or if this is something you've never heard about. It's also sometimes called Irish CMOS, red algae, or um, carrageen. Even if you haven't heard about it before, you have definitely eaten it, me included, maybe even today. Because from seaweed, a very popular um, food thickener is derived, which is carrageen. This one is used in gummy bears, in yogurt, in plant-based milks, like literally anywhere, even in sauces. The first time I heard about CMOS was just a few months ago when I visited a friend of mine and a colleague in the north of England, he's Irish, and he also works with uh, IBS patients, mostly in leaky gut. And he was obsessed. I mean, like obsessed with CMOS. And I was like, how can I, we are in the same field, how can I not have heard of CMOS? <laughs> and then he's Irish and he also studied with Dr. Sebi, who's a Honduran herbalist, who's very much CMOS, 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 CMOS. So I had like, like this friend there who was all about CMOS and he shared a story with me which I find interesting because CMOS actually was discovered like so many things <laughs> out of emergency. There was this uh, great famine in the 1500 in Ireland and they basically were starving to death. So they turned to the sea and what did they find? CMOS. <laughs> right? The, so they tried it, they didn't die, so they ate more of it and they noticed it fills them up and they got stronger, they got like literally physically stronger, got more energy and they got less sick. Now it's this big superfood like, oh, see, moss, see, moss. Um, so that's why I also wanted to make this video in case you have not heard about CMOS before. Before you jump now and like, okay, amazon.com CMOS, <laughs> let's talk about if you really need it and what are the benefits, what's actually in there, especially when it comes to your gut health. The good thing is about CMOS, it has 90 to 100 different minerals. So it's very mineral dense um, Irish CMOS or, or CMOS. Some of them are silica, calcium, potassium, um, magnesium, so lots of electrolytes going on there, um, and natural iodine, which is the what, one main major one, makes sense because it comes out of the sea. It's also super rich in fibers. It has more fibers than veg most vegetables, and vegetables are usually like the statue of fibers, which then plays into the health benefits, like the gut health benefits. So let's talk about that. For who is sea, sea moss? I always, always want to say seaweed. Sea, sea moss, Peggy, sea moss. Well, if you know you have an impaired gut health, especially when it comes to your microbiome, maybe you have done the GI map and it came back like red, 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 all imbalanced, or you have taken antibiotics recently, then the high fiber content and the sea moss can help to recover and strengthen the, the good gut bacteria because sea moss acts like a pre prebiotic prebiotic right so it's not a probiotic it's a prebiotic it feeds the good gut bacteria it's like you know little spoon helps them to proliferate it's also great if you're dealing with um, chronic constipation and inflammation in general so IBS um, food food allergies always create inflammation histamine response you know red and swelling then CMOS can help because of its anti-inflammatory properties and then again if you have less inflammation or no inflammation you can absorb the nutrients better that you're eating so it comes as a double bonus for you last but not least on the gut health benefit list because it's related if you're dealing with blood sugar spikes if your diabetes 2 already diagnosed or you notice like oh I have these spikes of my blood sugar, then CMOS can help with that as well. In general, as for everything, don't just go out and buy, buy, buy stuff. Make sure it actually, you know why you're taking this, you know why you want to experiment with it. I would also invite you in the comments to let me know, have you experimented with CMOS and what came out of it? So we can form each other and we really learn from each other's experiences here. Before I share how to take it, I want to make sure that you know that seaweed as spirulina, for example, the same, they sponge up everything. They don't just sponge up minerals, they also sponge up toxins, right? This is why it's really important where this stuff comes from. Like with a lot of supplements, where does it come from? And with CMOS, one of the best places, so to look for if you go for a CMOS supplement, so you can eat that as the 
the moss itself, you put it into water for six for 10 hours, clean the thing and you can see it, eat it. Or most popular <laughs> is a gel that you can create yourself or you can just buy it. I'm gonna link you two of my favorite ones that I checked for the ingredients and I had also a recommendation from my friend Brian who was obsessed and studied sea moss for I don't know how many years. Um, those are coming from Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia is in the Caribbean area, in the, on the Caribbean islands, and um, there the ocean is pretty clean and they know it's not contaminated like if you would get it somewhere where it's more in the Atlantic, it's often very polluted. So this is why it's important. Again, I'll link you the two ones that I checked and recommend um, down below. The way to take it is if you take the gel, most common one, it's one to two tablespoons per day. And you can, hardcore people might just eat them like that. Depending on the, the type of gel, it's either flavorless or it tastes a little bit fishy. If it's a good gel, it doesn't taste at all. Um, if it tastes a little bit fishy, Brian was like, hey, I might, for my clients, I recommend to put it in applesauce. That's what they eat in Ireland. Applesauce and oatmeal. Um, so in one of those, you can also mix it in your morning smoothie, in soups, in sauces, in yogurt. So it can be mixed in it. I advise you to start slowly, give your body a chance to get used to this new weird thing you're eating there. So start with half a tablespoon, a tablespoon, especially if you're sensitive. If you have thyroid issues or you're pregnant, please first consult with your local doctor to make sure this is fine to take and hear their take on things. And um, yeah, let me know what is your experience with CMOS or is this something you've never heard about before?